All right, Mike is unmuted. Thanks to a friendly reminder from Zell. So <laughs> you can actually hear me this time. How's it going, guys? This is what I'm talking about with this chair. This thing is huge. This is the small size. I got this chair specifically because it is one of the few chairs that I saw, like, online in a store or whatever that was advertised for, like, smaller people, because I'm, I'm very small. But, um, even with the small size, the thing, I feel like it's gonna eat me. I just like the way it looks. It's just like, it's all up there, but I feel like it's gonna eat me. <laughs> exactly! Now I'm a real girl streamer! <laughs> uh, I couldn't bring myself to buy like a like a DX racer or anything. This was probably about the same price as a low end DX racer, but they had a 60 day return policy. And what happened with my last chair that I bought? It was like the most comfortable thing I ever sat in for about three or four weeks, and then my back was just destroyed. And at that point, it was like too uh far past the return period, so I was stuck with that. So this one's good. I get like two months to sit my ass in it and decide that it's, uh, if it's good or bad. If, uh, if Charlie doesn't shred it in the meantime. But, uh, so far it's so good. It came with these stupid, like, cushions that, like, I guess, I guess they're good if you're, like, lying down. You, like, strap it to the, the headrest or whatever. But you're not, you're not gonna, like, sit at your computer desk with the, the pillow on <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I'm five foot one. I don't know what that is in in centimeters, because I know you you crazy uh, Europeans use the metric system, but it's very small. Yeah, DX Racer is five hundred dollars. This was about half that, uh, because it was on sale. But again, like, I'm at the point where if it it helps my back, because my back is just constantly in pain now. Like when I'm sitting at the desk from like so many years of just shit posture that if it helps my back I will splurge a bit um because it's very important very important uh to have good uh to have a good back if you want to like have any sort of job if you're gonna sit at a desk or whatever and, like I'm on my feet all day at work anyway so it's kind of like it evens out I spend a lot of time at the computer but I work like eight hours a day on my feet a lot of the time okay so alien we're at the very very end of the game. The very tail end of the game. I think the actual last chapter... Um, and I, I had some serious issues with this last time. There is a clip from last time, near the end of the stream, of like the facehugger coming out of the egg right in front of my face. I did not even see it. I did not even register that it was there. Uh, so hopefully tonight will go a little bit better than that. It was bad though. You tend to have yours tilted up. Uh, tilt it back most of the time with your feet up on a p What's a poofy? 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 <laughs> Is that like a like an ottoman? Like a footrest, I'm assuming? I like that word. Is it poofy? <laughs> That's a really funny looking word. Poofy. Oh, it's true. You're, you're, the thing is, like, with this, too, you can lay down as well. That's another thing I liked about Hello. it. I don't, don't want to mess with it, because the tilt is, like... The tilt is weird. Hello, Oinimusha. How's it going? Rip Visceral Games. What? So Visceral Games did Dead Space. What else did they do? I don't. Uh, I didn't look too much into it, but I literally just saw that on uh, Twitter before I started streaming. Something about Dead Space. Oh, a poof. It's like a footrest. But yeah, this this tilts back like a uh, hundred and seventy five degrees or something. So it's pretty sweet. So we'll see how it goes. If it if it turns out that my back is destroyed in like a month, I'll just return it. But. Uh, so far, so good. And they, they say that it's got, like, good lower back support, but what they mean by that is this. Like, they give you this shitty-ass foam cushion that's, like, way, way, way too padded to be reasonable for anyone who isn't, like, huge. It's just... I don't know if I'm just picky or if it's just because my back is so thoroughly destroyed, but, um... I think a lot of it is my body shape is very weird, so it's hard to find a chair that, like fits perfectly, I guess. Like, the armrests are always too far apart because my sh shoulders are really narrow, so I'm sitting like... Like, my, like if I want to use the armrests on most chairs, I'm sitting like this, like my arms way out. Like I'm doing the fucking uh, chicken dance. This one, it's okay because the the armrests, like, pivot 360 degrees, like the flat part of them. So instead of, like, being this way, you can pivot them, like, sideways so you have a little more room for your elbows to go on. But, um... 
that helps a little. But ideally, like, a chair would have armrests that go in, like, like that. But those chairs are so expensive. They're like 500 bucks. I don't have that kind of money for a chair. Seen plenty of them with those cushions attached. I never fancied the look of them. Yeah, they're not, they're just not comfortable. It's like, you can tell it's like cheapo foam that uh, doesn't really, ooh, what am I doing? Doesn't have a ton of give. Continued game. Um, so it's very hard for your back to kind of mold into it. It does give a lot of support, but it's too much. I think it's too much support. Lone Survivor next? No. <laughs> I don't have it set up for and I'm definitely going to play that, though. Uh, now that you mention it, I forgot about that. That looks really awesome from what I've uh, played of it so far. I, I didn't get very far in. I got maybe through a quarter of the game. Is it? A, it's a pretty short game, right? It's not, not too long of a playthrough. But uh, my plan for tonight, if I finish this up early, is to either just end early, because I think I'm coming down with something, but uh, if I feel okay, I'm going to do probably Code Veronica tonight, because I got that on sale, and I'm excited. Ah! Hi, Soldar. How's it going? Good to see ya. Wait, what is Dante's Inferno? <laughs> That's a video game? What? It's a book. They made up Dante's Inferno video game? That's, that sounds like it would be garbage. Was it garbage? Okay. So where where we last when we last left our hero, um, I got face hugged. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're in a bit of a pickle here. I have shit all for uh, flamethrower ammo. There's face huggers all over the goddamn walls. Um, and there's two aliens, and we gotta get out of here. Where were we going? Sevastopol is falling towards the gas giant. I must have <laughs> I must have missed that part. The entire part of the story that we're pivoting toward, like we're plummeting into the sun, but <laughs> that's like, that's a thing. That's a plot detail that I miss. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what did EA have to do with that? Yeah, they did Dead Space, I know that much. Aeon, how's it going? Thanks, I, I'm, I'm, I was complaining, like I was saying that I feel like it's, it's gonna eat me. Like it looks like it's gonna eat me a little bit, but it's comfy so far. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a review of it after I've sat my ass on it for a good uh, couple weeks, but so far so good. It's like kind of an alternative to the DX Racer ones that I, I didn't want to get. But like I wish, um, personally it's a little bit loud for my taste, <laughs> like this is the only color it came in. I would have got black one if they had it, a black one. Um, but it's comfy and that's what matters. I would sit in the ugliest chair in the world if it was comfortable. Does not matter to me. Alright, so. Remember buttons. We got face hugger problems. We got to time this right. We got one job. Did we do it? Nope. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> How far away do I have to be? I thought, it was, I thought I threw it far enough. I already blew myself up last time. For fuck's sake. It's gonna be one of those nights. Oh my god. I gotta lob it like downtown. I couldn't see it coming around the corner though. Yes, that, that's how I feel about that. <laughs> Wasn't Dante's Inferno just part of a larger book called The Divine Comedy? Probably. That sounds right. It was a God of War ripoff? That is very bizarre. I don't remember that at all. It was probably that bad. Oh, it is Technical Tuesday. You're right on emotion. <laughs> I forgot. But uh, this isn't even a technical issue. This is just a shit gameplay issue. I don't know why it takes 20 minutes to load. Okay. Um, I'll tell. But yeah, usually on Tuesdays, I end up trying a new game. Just out of luck, like not planned. And in the process, it, it goes horribly wrong. Things just break. So hopefully tonight will be better. Alright, let's try this again. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, no Molotovs! We'll use the shoddy. Fuck the Molotovs. I thought that was the, the strat, but that's not the strat. The problem with the shoddy is there's two of them that come out, and one is right behind the other, and in the, the time that it takes me to, to uh, shoot the next round, the other one's on my face. You'll see what happens if I, if I uh, do it with the shoddy, but this one part has tripped me up more than anything in the game so far, I think. Just these two stupid face huggers. I might even just use the flamethrower and just like pray for the rest of the the area that uh, no more pop out at me. 
Your Switch and Zelda came in? You hated it so bad that you ended up selling both the console and the game? What? Was it really that bad? What did you not like about the game? Everything that I've seen of it looks pretty fun. It's just uh, completely different from the other Zelda games. It's a lot of open world stuff. Let's just try the flame fur. And just, just hope we don't need it ever again. Come on. Yeah, man. Poof. Poof. Alright, we did, we did the double tap. They're good. Oh, you know what? What if I went this way? Would I just have avoided them altogether? Or is this just a death trap? Ah, they probably would have came that way. I'm trying really, really hard to conserve ammo. Now it's actually feeling like a survival horror game. Before it was kind of mostly a stealth game. Right. So there's a facehugger down here too. say anything negative about the Zelda game. That's why I'm curious what you think about it, uh, Aeon. And Darth, how's it going? Nope, it's not done yet! It's not done yet. This is the very, very end of the game, though. I just didn't have it in me to finish it uh, last time. It was way too late, and I was getting, like, facehuggers jumping at me, and I didn't even see them. <laughs> Hope it has a lot of fire. I bet it will. So far, it hasn't disappointed. Everything's been on fire forever. Dead? Okay, we're dead. He didn't have a chance. We're on to him. It is super loud in here. Holy shit. Alright. Suddenly, like, at the very, very end of the game, game is like, okay, you can have four men kids. We'll give you that. But now I'm all out of flamethrower ammo. It's not the place we want to be in. How's it going, our soul? Good to see ya. Verlaine! Verlaine! Alright, I think it's time for Arian. I can't see shit! What do you need me to do? Why is everything so tilty? Other than the fact that we're hurtling into the sun. Well, let you down! Is this guy gonna grab me? No. You saw that elevator scare coming? I did too, but only because I already played it. I just rip. Just ran into fire. Everything's so blurry, I can't see shit! Where am I going? I'm getting gas. I'm, I'm shutting something down or other. I gotta look for buttons. I gotta look for buttons and I gotta hit them. I hear the safe thing. Dinging. Where's that? Why are they laying eggs in the elevator shaft? I don't know. They're just kind of laying eggs everywhere all willy-nilly at this point of the game because their hive got blown up. They took- they kind of just overtook the whole ship from the looks of it. Oh, safe station! Thank you! Injured? I mean, yeah, I guess it's like pass out of vision. We're losing consciousness. Can I get. There we go. I don't know if this is gonna help me, but I'm losing health steadily from the fire. I don't think this is what I was supposed to do, but I'm gonna put it on. Maybe it'll give me some uh, protection. Was I supposed to go outside? I guess so. Can I heal? No. Nope. I'm doing okay, Ursula. Thanks for asking. I'm I'm coming down with something, so uh, it might be a little, a little less talkative tonight because I wanna.
gonna rest my voice for work tomorrow, but other than that, I'm good. Hope you're doing well. And Daigie, how's it going? How many aliens did we already isolate? Uh, right now we have a problem with two of them. And, and I don't know if they're isolated from us right now, but I haven't seen them in a bit. I don't know what the status is on their isolation, but I'm feeling a bit alienated. Yeah, I did the hive part. I really liked that cell. It reminded me a lot of System Shock. Uh, System Shock 2 with the many. When you go into the, uh, the many's nest. Towards the end of the game. Or whatever they were called. I think it was the many, right? In System Shock 2. Twist the Aryans in the space suit. <laughs> you just go to grab the helmet and it just pops out like... Where am I going? What am I doing? Hit the button. This is really cool. Right, what is this thing? It's green, I guess we're supposed to step on it. There we go, use button. This, I know how to do this This part of the game. I feel like a trained animal in this game. I just hit the button and then they feed me like a little, little bit of sugar from a tube. Just keep doing it. Shit is just exploding everywhere. And there's missiles? Is that asteroids? What the fuck is happening? Climb. Wait, where'd Arian though? I'm surprised they don't have them out here. Although you'd really have no way of uh, getting around them if they did. Cooking supper, Ursula? Anything good? Nope. Why is everything tilted? Wouldn't the floor be flat? Um. It's a good question. I see them. I don't know space because space. Prime the release mechanisms. All right, I gotta hit the buttons again. Key card. Access. ledge in this suit. Too cumbersome. Everything is better with jetpacks. Is that what you're going for? There's a new game that I was watching a uh, retrograde Tom play called Elex. That's like a, like a fantasy RPG post-apocalyptic RPG or something but they, they the main character has like a jetpack to get around. It's so clowny looking. I don't know if I like that or not. It's like a jet fanny pack. Alright, set the airlock to auto. Let's see. Let's go down here. What's this thing? Danger! Okay. <laughs> this is me reading warnings on things, just like, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's hit the buttons. like hit the button sequences as there are in this game. This is really cool. Like it gets the feel of the original movie. And this original like uh or this type of uh 70s sci-fi look to it. Down really well. It shouldn't actually be tilted. I bet it is supposed to be tilted, though. It is more dramatic. It's at least it's not the Parkinson's camera again, just constantly shaking like last time. That was terrible. It was like nauseating. This isn't too bad because the tilt is more constant. I said 
wondering why the aliens aren't out here. Well, I take that back. How many are there? Too many. Too many Aryan. <laughs> the timing. Zero, how's it going? Thank you for the host. We're at the end of Alien Isolation right now, so if anyone has any plans on playing this game, you might want to peace out. This is the very end. But thank you so much for the host. I hope you had a nice rest of your stream with Silent Hill. And if you guys don't follow Zero, give him a follow. He's a real chill guy. He's playing some spooky games. It's real bad, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. We need we need more fire, significantly more fire. So this yeah, this is the very end, I think. I think this is the last chapter. I don't know if we're actually gonna get to play or if it's uh cutscenes. Oh we do get to play! We get Relaine, to I'm Relaine. Way up to the bridge. Relaine. I just like saying Verlaine, I'm sorry guys. I, I love how uh her affect is so over the top when she says it. Zero, how's it going? Good to see you. I was just saying, uh, hope the rest of your stream went well with Silent Hill now that you, you passed the hardest part of the game, the piano puzzle. Fucking piano puzzles in all survival horror games. Terrible. It's just like a staple of, uh, 90s survival horror. You gotta have, gotta have at least one piano puzzle. Minimum of one piano puzzle to be, uh, officially be a survival horror game from the 90s. Can I scan myself? I don't know why they let me do that. <laughs> if this follows the movies, at least one alien made it on board with you. Of course it did. It's not gonna leave it like that. It's not gonna just have a happy end for us. We're gonna ha we're gonna get in trouble soon enough. Can I? Oh, I should probably take this suit off, huh? Take the suit off. Can I just walk through the rest of the game in this suit? Is it just gonna let me do that? I think it might. It's pretty cumbersome though. What's this thing? Nope. Where am I going? Can I go up the ladder? Nope. On the bridge. Bridge is... There. Okay. It's to the left. To the left, to the left. Fuck. <laughs> of course it's locked. Of course, we have to go all the way through East Ass of the ship to get there. <laughs> Watch out for that shot. What shiny pipe? What shiny pipe? <laughs> no, you're you're not alone, honestly, Zero, with that puzzle. I had a lot of trouble with that when I played through. Or uh, no, never mind. I didn't play that one. There was a similar puzzle in Silent Hill 3, I believe, that I had a lot of trouble with. But I've seen playthroughs of that one, and um, a lot of people have trouble with that for sure. I haven't really? actually played it myself. Can I take this thing off now? Get this off of me! Nope. I think Verlaine is probably dead, like at this point. I don't- I don't think Verlaine's doing well. I think she's uh... Her silence is a bit consp conspicuous here. Use button. Okay! Move keys down! Thank you. I need- <laughs> I'm sorry, this is clowny. <laughs> I can only put one button. I can- I can press one button and that's the crawl on your ass away from the alien like a dog with an itchy butt. Alright, go this way. This is too complicated. Use button! Wow! Okay. Did we do it? I think we did it.
What the fuck? <laughs> Was that actually the ending? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so what? Why? Why is the ending just us floating in space? I don't know how I feel about that at all. Legit, the ending of the game is you just like panicked, scuttling on your ass away from the alien. You jettison it into space, and then you're floating in space. This is Ripley. This is Ripley. This is Ripley. This is Ripley. We had one sound clip of Sigourney Weaver, so we got to use it 500 times. It's game over, man. How's it going, guy? That's it, man. <laughs> game over, man. It's game it's over. Game over. It's it's really game over. <laughs> T-shirt, how are you? You dead start over from chapter one? Yeah, we'll do nightmare mode this time. I'm sure it'll be great. Just imagine the original alien happened to be the f be floating by here and just jumps your skull. <laughs> He's waiting, waiting for the opportunity, or waiting for the opportunity all this time. <laughs> Maybe there is post credits. We'll wait. I don't think there is, but we'll wait for it. Oh yeah, there's DLC, but does it really expand upon the story at all? I don't think it does. Like, I could get it? I don't know. I completely forgot the DLC was a thing. I don't have it. I didn't think to buy it, because, uh... I didn't think it was very substantial DLC. I thought it was more like, um... Excuse me, maps for the survivor mode? They go into more detail on the ending in Gravity. I've actually never seen Gravity. Isn't it good? The last, like, real space, space movie I saw was The Martian. And before that, I think it was Interstellar. I really liked Interstellar, honestly, even though it was kind of mumbo-jumbo sci-fi, a lot of it, but I, I liked that. It was pretty good. The one I played is a bit interesting, where it has the Nostromo. I'll have to look into it. I'm not going to do it now, because um, I'd have to download it, and that would tank the, the stream uh, bandwidth. DLC doesn't add to the game but it has the original alien voice actors. They already had, um... I was impressed that they had Sigourney Weaver and also the guy who did the voice for Ash. Who did the voice for Ash, who was Ash <laughs> in the, in the uh, original movie, I think, from the sounds of it. Or someone who sounded very much like him. Gravity is a balls as long as you have a nice big screen to watch. I have a 24-inch monitor, but if I sit really close to it, I can simulate the theater experience. <laughs> you know what I wanted to see? Um, I wanted to see the new Blade Runner, and I was gonna see it last night, but I didn't have time. But I was looking like for more showings this week of it in the theaters, and I didn't see any, so I don't know if it just tanked and they're pulling it from the theaters. Um, because I heard it had it did very, very poorly for its budget in the theaters, but uh, hopefully it's, it's still gonna be in the theaters. Ashes Bilbo- wait, what? What? I'm so confused. Can I skip this? It's got like the little loading, uh... There we go. Fuck your credits. I liked this game a lot. This was a very good game. That was the end, I guess. There was no, uh... No post-credits thing. Wait, so... She just le legit just dies floating in space? Is that the end? Did I miss something? She, like, she takes the alien with her. That's basically what uh, Ripley does in 3, right? She tries to take the alien with her. It's the same guy as Bilbo in Lord of the Rings? What? Ash? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm thinking Frodo. I was like, Frodo is, um... What's his face? Elijah Wood. <laughs> I get them confused. I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan. Might have to add this to your list of games to play this month. Uh, Zero, if you like the Alien movie, like the first one, I'd definitely recommend this. And if you do want to get it, I think it is on sale on the Humble Store. It's on sale on the PS Store right now, but it's been on sale for PC like quite a few times this month already, so it's probably still on sale somewhere. In Aliens, they said her daughter got married and eventually died an old woman, so she had to have survived. So someone just probably drives by in space and, like, sees her floating there and picks her up. I guess. It's weird that they didn't try to tie it together there at all. I'm very confused. 
they just kind of left it like literally like up up in the air or in lack of air I guess but yeah I really liked this game this this was really fun and uh, I might go back and try it on a harder difficulty at some point I probably won't stream it because I don't like streaming the same game more than once typically like more than one playthrough unless it's like like one of the Soulsborne games where you can do different builds but uh, this was a really good game and I had a lot of fun with it so tonight I have choices I was thinking of doing Code Veronica next because I just bought that on sale it was like three dollars on the PS store and I was like I gotta I was thinking of getting this it's on sale it just went on sale today and I need a new game so I'm gonna get this I have that um Warfighter keeps recommending Lone Survivor to everyone I think which I have which is almost like a 2d Silent Hill um I had what I had one more thing oh I have Phantasmagoria which is a really old um, FMV game. It looks really, really freaking cheesy. Um, and there was something else. I had another thing, but I completely forget. Did you play all the other RE's? I have played zero, one, two, three, four, and five. But not six or seven. What is Blue Stinger? I don't know what that is. Okay, so let me quit this game and get my other thing set up. That's it for Alien. Thank you, those of you who came out for Alien, but we're, we're stopping there. <laughs> I really enjoyed that game, but I'm, I'm probably done for it. Done with it for a while. I'll, I might check out the DLC. We'll see. But that was a great game, and I had a lot of fun with it. That was a fun ride. I, I think, like, going into it, if I went into it, like, if you go into it more with the mindset that it's a stealth game, kind of like a, a different type of stealth game. It's not really like a Metal Gear type of stealth. Um... Basically, to me, it felt- it had the same feel as Resident Evil 3 with Nemesis. Like, it felt like I was stealthing away from Nemesis in Resident Evil 3, but, like, with better options to- to get him off my tail. Um, if I went into it knowing more that it was stealth than, like, survival horror, I think, like, I'd appreciate it better. And I- I really enjoyed it for what it was. Phantasmagoria, yes! I would watch all of these. Should I- I wish I knew how to set up a poll really quick. Cold fear. Are you, are you just you're just listing uh, random survival horror games on you, Misha? Let me check my Steam library. I do have uh, Phantasmagoria and Code Veronica installed, but I'm very indecisive. It's like a coin flip between those two. Phantasmagoria is less gameplay from what I saw of it, and more like shitty FMVs, like hokey, very hokey FMVs. I'm gonna just change my title. I gotta change that too. Um. At least I have something, I, I have another game actually installed tonight, because sometimes I don't, and I finish a game and I'm like, Ugh? what do? Um, okay. So we will do. Right. Code Veronica, Phantasmagoria. Code Veronica, Phantasmagoria. The one thing, I started up Code Veronica just to see if it worked on the PS4. I'm going to have a lot of trouble with the tank controls. Like, getting back into the tank controls is going to be really rough. Like, I can tell right now, because it's it's uh, been so long since I've played a game with tank controls. So I, I think I might start Hood Veronica, and if it gets too rough, we'll switch. But I heard it was not as good as the other Resident Evils, but is the one that I haven't played, because it was not on GameCube, and I played all the other ones on GameCube. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Let me boot up the PS4, because it's on PS4. I could have done it with the... Uh, with an emulator, but I do not have luck with emulators. Every time I've tried to stream something from an emulator, it's gone horribly wrong, and I it's Technical Tuesdays already, so I don't want to curse it even more. Eel Bleed? Martian Gothic? Overblood? I've never heard of any of these. Are these older games? You're still waiting for Resident Evil Outbreak Remake? I have been watching someone stream that, actually. There's a streamer called Bokba Soup, who streams Resident Evil Outbreak. That's not what I want. Who streams Resident Evil Outbreak every now and then. It's I think there's just the one, right? For the PS2? But there, he's, like, he's modded it somehow. I think that's the game he streams. He's modded it somehow, and his character model looks really dumb. It's like a stick figure with a skirt. Oh my God. Thanks for the follow, the Mazari. Welcome to the stream. Um, so here's my console. Get rid of the game capture. Okay. Okay, that looks set up. 
Oh, there's two Outbreak games. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Gotta just full screen my thing here. I'm actually gonna take, like, a two-minute bathroom break, guys. I had this really good tea uh, before I started streaming. Rooibos chai tea. It's very interesting. Very good. Very fall. It's finally fall weather now. I'm so excited. I have the window open. I'm so excited that I'm not melting when I'm streaming like I usually am. But uh, it's supposed to be in the 70s again this week. Okay. Code Veronica. I might have to bump up the volume a little bit. Console volume's really different. Or it might be really loud. Let's take a look. You might want to turn your volume down a little bit because I remember this being kind of loud. Just while I get this set up. Right, press start to begin. You don't like the fall, Tanky? Why don't you like the fall? Fall is amazing. Fall's my favorite season. The weather's so mild. Yeah, remember memory cards? Memory cards were a thing. I remember not having a memory card. Right, that looks very bad. Alright, alright, alright. Turning that way the fuck down. There we go. Jesus, why is it so loud? <laughs> It's so dramatic! Code Veronica. Violence and gore. Yeah, it's like five pixels of blood. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> and they had to give the warnings. Yeah, I would totally play Eternal Darkness again. That's my favorite. But I'd have to get it set up on an emulator again. And we know we know what happens when I use the emulators on Technical Tuesdays. <laughs> I played it last time on an emulator and it... I couldn't tell when the emulator was fucking up, or it was the game, because the game is already supposed to mess with you. But uh, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna just take a two-minute break, and we'll start up Code Veronica. And I gotta change my title. Remember, change title, because this is not Alien Isolation. I don't want to confuse people. All right, I'll be right back. So let me know, guys, if the sound's um, at an okay level in the game versus my voice when it starts up, because I think that intro cutscene was just stupid loud for some reason. Okay. Remember, change title. Gotta do that. I should probably... This game I think I'll stream in retro, because I don't think anyone is, like, specifically searching for Code Veronica on Twitch, would be my guess. Retro. Where is the retro category? It's not letting me update it to retro. Uh. Hold up. Okay. Retro game. Uh. No.
no idea what to call this. I'm just gonna do blind Code Veronica X. Is it? It's Code Veronica X, right? Not Code Veronica. Why is it X? What does the X have to do with anything? Blind. I haven't streamed in retro in legit, probably like six months. I feel like. Uh, code Veronica X. And get set. Did it set? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, looks like it's set. Oops. Okay. That looks good. Okay. I think we're good. Remember stream title. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> oh, it's the. Oh, thank you. Okay. X is the PS2 port. Okay. So it's originally Dreamcast. Gotcha. Other people probably played this for speedruns. I looked um, at videos, like Twitch videos of this, to see when the last person had streamed this, like VOD was, and the last person streamed this on the 11th, so it's not super, uh, super popular. I also bought all of Metal Slug. Demo play. Yeah, I bought all of Metal Slug because it was on sale, like Metal Slug 1 through 5, I think, is in the collection. Alright, it's been so long since I've played a Resident Evil. New game. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Wait, hold on, I gotta change my camera background. We got the alien one. There we go. We got him. It's very important to match your webcam background. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely. To your, uh, to your game. So that was two, right? Is that two or three? Maybe it was three. No, three or three. Later. Are you Jill in three? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I played these games. I played them as like a teenager. All right, I'm gonna gonna hide myself. Oops. Hotkeys, please. Your identification number is WKD4496. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> this CGI is, is not aged well. Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. It's pretty loud on my end. Okay, this is like, this is stupid dramatic <laughs> compared to the other games <laughs> intros. Blowing anyone's ears out. <gasps> what the? <laughs> they just stood there and watched that as that happened. <laughs> like, what's she doing? She, she slipped and she passed it off like it's what she planned on doing. <laughs> Yo, whatever happened to Rebecca? Thanks for the follow, Sir Sonic. Welcome to the stream. Cause 
Because Rebecca, the last time you see Rebecca is in, in one, right? Yeah, she's in Zira, but Zira is before, before one, right? Timeline wise. I think that would make sense. Okay, we're in prison. I know, I know how to get out of this. We just need a bottle of ketchup. I'm messing with my hotkeys. One sec. Okay, there we go. So that should... There we go. Alright, if I were equipped, equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. I bet we have one. We just happen to have a lighter. Okay. Alright, we gotta get used to the, the wonky survival horror game menus again. Um... D-pad or analog? No, both, I guess. Item. I have it? I don't have- what? It's not a- what does standard mean? <laughs> okay, standard is different from our item list. Playing manual. We gotta read the manual. Playing manual. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command. Okay, yep. You can rotate it. I've played a few of these before. Try to push objects. Use the quick turn. You can turn by pressing the cancel button while holding the directional button down. I don't think I ever used that in one of these games. I don't know what the cancel button would be on the PS4 controller. It might be the, the touchpad. Use the map screen. Okay. Climb descend. Yeah, whatever. Security boxes. Okay. All right. Basic Resident Evil. She's in one of the animated movies? Wait, there's an animated Resident Evil movie? Really? I know the, uh, like, Mila Jovovich movies. What are these? Great. Da-da-da! <gasps> if I was equipped with a portable rocket launcher, I could get out of here. You just happen to have one hidden under your jacket. They didn't check ya. I don't think she has anywhere to hide one of those. Perfect. Perfect. Go on. Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Oh my god! Thanks for the follow, Thales. 720, welcome to the stream. There are several, they take place between 4 and 5, 5 and 6, 6 and 7. Really? I can't look that up. Are they terrible? I feel like they would be terrible. Okay, tank controls. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he was doing doing the man the man sit there, <laughs> definitely. He's all ready to sit on public transportation and piss everyone around him off. A hemostatic capsule is on the floor. Hemostatic. It's empty. Hemo means blood, right? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Turn around. Okay, let's try to figure out the quick turn. Cancel button is... Okay, we did it. Kind of. Okay. It's less ammo. There, we got handgun bullets, but no gun. What's our run button? Circle? Alright, circle's run. Circle is run, and it's also quick turn. Right, what's on the desk here? Take the combat knife. I guess I gotta. I 
Did you guys ever use a knife in any Resident Evil game ever? Because I cannot remember in any of them even equipping the knife. Because you get the gun so early, usually. The knife is just more of a deterrent. You just slash at the zombies and they, like, get off you for one sec. Can I talk to you? His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need the hemostatic medicine. Alright. Yes, we'll help him. I think this is probably still the typewriter save system. Maybe. Not as terrible as most of the live action films. I don't I don't know if that's saying much. <laughs> There's my the answer to my question. An old typewriter. Could save my progress if I had an ink ribbon. Well, thankfully, some kind soul happened to leave one right here. Take the ink ribbon, yes. I like I like how it just says ink ribbon in huge letters on it. They don't want you to confuse it with like a hockey puck or something, I don't know. Take this. Cockroaches everywhere. I don't know why they're cockroaches like coming out of the typewriter. Which memory card will I use? I don't know. So many choices. You started knife runs on some of the older ones and got bored? The knife is a maze balls in 4. 4 is like way more action oriented, so maybe they made it more powerful in 4. And how's it going, Arias? Uh, what's your favorite Resident Evil game? Uh, my personal favorite, and I think it's because it was my first, is the uh, GameCube remake of Resident Evil 1. I got that with, with uh, my GameCube when that first came out. What is this? And uh, it scared the crap out of me as a teenager. Yeah, I think it's the the game that's probably scared me the most out of anything that I've played with the crimson heads and everything. I feel like this looks like... There's no way to control the camera in this game, right? It's just it's still the uh, static camera. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably my favorite. I played uh, 0 through 5, though. 3 is good, too. They're, they're all really... They're all good in their own ways, I feel like. Can we... There we go. But it's been a long time since I've played one, like, a really long time. I think the last one I played was five, like, back in college. Why is it making a heartbeat? The controller's shaking. But yeah, is there some sort of general consensus on what the best RE is? I don't know if there's one that's kind of universally thought of as the best one. Genuine Inko ink tape with 100% ink. <laughs> Generic ink, ink uh, co ink brand tape. Oils leaking from the crashed wreck. A dead body in a briefcase can be seen inside. Oil. Let's walk. <laughs> Oil is leaking from the wreck. Let's walk around waggling our lighter. <laughs> How is this lighter still going? I don't think I need this anymore. It's it's pouring rain and I'm just I have this lighter out. How do I unequip? How how do I unequip? Item. This is so janky. Item. I really don't know how to unequip this thing. How do I get to the There we go. Okay. You just hit equip twice. Okay. All right, we're good. I guess I can equip the knife just in case. I missed this because I was watching Andre 3000's Class of 3000. What is that? Uh, like Andre 3000 from Outcast? This is PS4. Um, played on P PS. Yeah, PS2 played on PS4. There you go. No, I didn't play. Um, I didn't play six or ah. I didn't play six or seven. I heard six was absolute garbage. See a zombie. Rut row. Time to die. I don't know the button to hit him. What's the hit button? I don't remember. Let's find out. Oh, okay, we don't have to. It's a cutscene. Wait, he, he looks very different. <laughs> he got a facelift for the cutscene. Why are all 
the zombie's ass naked. This is very uncomfortable. Oh, it's a different zombie. Okay. Put some pants on, please. Okay, um... Why am I... <laughs> He's run! Just run! Can I... Oh, and that one's on fire. Alright, this knife is, is not very good. I think I'm supposed to run here. Um, I'm hitting the run button and it, she's just like... Alright. <laughs> this is like if Stevie Wonder got in a knife fight <laughs> with some zombies. Help! Help me! It's okay, we're pushing them down. We're, we're doing it. Can you stop nomming me, please? I'm trying to knife you. How am I doing? Oh my god! What am I even supposed to do here? I'm trying to run! It's game over! I think I'm- oh! Oh boy. Alright, that- It's been a while. <laughs> I think I was just supposed to run. There's no way I can take them all out with a knife. This is like one grabs me, the other grabs me, one grabs me, the other grabs me. I knew I should have kept the lighter out. Maybe it would have scared them away. Maybe that was the trick. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I, I guess standard is like the alternative one. You get in that game when it goes on sale? The, um, what was it, White Knight? Was that, was that what it was called? The one you showed me, right, War? On, uh, Steam Sale? Attack zombies with lighter? I was thinking about it, but I don't... Can I even do that? No, I can't. I can't, uh... I can't swing it. Alright, so it's circle. Why does she. Like, look at this. I guess this is the targeting. Like, the, this is how she locks on stuff, is with, like, with her hand up like this. Like, she's just like. I don't know what she's. She's framing it or something <laughs> before she knifes someone? I don't understand. This is what. You can't, uh. You're stuck in place. Same as in the others, I think, when you, uh. When you swing. Oh, that's the map. Okay, we found the map. Well, this is cool. Zooming. Alright. We can work with that. Find the run button before you go. That's It's X, I think. That's a good idea. No, I thought it was... Oh, you know what I was doing? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot, guys. I was, um... I was holding down the button to lock on and trying to run at the same time. You can't do that. You can't lock on and run. Well, that's how we learn. Did anyone see that comedy romance film with the guy who's a zombie and is in love with a human? That sounds familiar, but I haven't seen it. Wasn't it any good? She got dim dance moves. <laughs> I guess so. Have you played all the RE games? I haven't played 6 or 7, but I played all of the main, uh, like, 0 through 5 games. Surprisingly, with how bad I am at this one. Um. But yeah, I, I like all the old ones a lot. So I thought I might enjoy this. This is the only one I didn't play. How's it going, Jack? Good to see ya. It, it has been a little while. Welcome to, to not Metal Gear. Run! Run! You fool! Okay. Do do no tank controls. No tank controls. No. Do do. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Tank controls. I gotta remember tank. I think I ran the wrong way. Thank you for the host check. I just ran back to where I was before. I should have ran the other way. This is stupid. I don't know where I'm going. You think it's worth a watch? I'll add it to the list. I started watching Alien uh, Resurrection last night, but my Blu-ray Blu uh, player freaked out. 
And then I remembered that... Oh, that's far. Um, I remembered that the PS4 actually has a Blu-ray player. Let's just run right into him. Um, and I should should have just used the PS4, but I used some free like um, Blu-ray thing. I just took way too much damage because I went back where I was instead of where I was supposed to go. Stupid. It's gonna be tough to fight zombies with tank control Tai Chi. Well, honestly, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I don't even know how to uh, how to avoid them anymore. It's, it's been so long. Like my brain is used to regular controls now. I used to be fine with the tank controls as a kid, but uh, it takes a little bit of adjustment to get used to them again. Where? Don't you? This I'm voice acting. <laughs> uh, sorry about that little oh my god. Like Mr. Hot Topic here. You another one of those mon Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Camo pants. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. Oh, oh that's Steve. Prisoner. Okay, I was like, who the fuck is Steve? <laughs> and I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Steve sounds like he should be in a Kingdom Hearts game. Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I hear there's an airport around here. But once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! Oh my god. I don't want you following me, lady. <sighs> this guy's so obnoxious. <laughs> the terror begins. Oh my god, and I have no healing items and I just tanked a billion damage. Okay, well, we're off to a good start. Caution. What is this? What is that, like, to the right of her data? The, like, lady with the flaming wings and the spear? Like, what is that? What is the point of that? It's pretty badass. It's very important to know her, her weight and uh, and height and blood type, though. Blood type O, okay. She's pretty skinny. If you play a re release of an old RE game, like them putting out, using the updated modern control scheme is sacrilegious? Wait, what? Did they update the control schemes in the, um, like the HD remasters? I don't want to remember Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts is dead to me. I still have to sell it. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved into the hollow. It's a biker jacket? Is it like the thing on the back of her jacket? Oh, I think it is, right? Yeah, why is it there, though? <laughs> Does that change depending on what we uh what type of shirt we have on or something? It's definitely the insignia in the back of her jacket, now that you say that. Steve is one of the main reasons why I dislike this game. I'm used to the games having kind of cheesy characters though, so I can kind of tune them out. And before I die when like random fireball gets lobbed at me. How's it going, Age? You missed the end of Alien, it was was uh kind of anticlimactic. We sent the alien out into space and then and then um Amanda also died in space or is like in space. I don't know if she died, but she's in space. That's what happened. Is this the door? It's been completely nailed down, it's impossible to open it. Okay. That is not the door. I wonder if there's anything on this thing. Yes! Handgun bolts! You can play without tank controls in the RE remaster? Wait, what? Oh, that must feel really weird. 
Like, as much as the tank controls are kind of awkward, I can't imagine playing the games without it. Get down with the thickness. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going, hobo? Good to see ya. Welcome to Code Veronica. Welcome to I already tanked, like, 20 zombie bites and I'm definitely infected. But we got herb. There's an herb up here. Oh, I can run. Remember running. Remember tank controls. I'm gonna get killed by tank controls at least 20 times. I get that sense. Alright, we're fine. This is fine. I think that's all that's up here. Oh, there's a door. You like Steve so far? He seems like a nice boy. He seems... Oh! No! No! Aiming! Oh my goodness. How do we sh there we go. Blat blat. Blat blat! No! That's my leg! Alright, this is gonna suck. <laughs> there we go. So if I remember correctly, there's no quick reload in these games. Like, you can't double tap, it's not the bumpers. I think you actually have to go to the menu and like manually reload it, but I forget how. Guess you go to the gun. Combine. Kinda remember. The way in hell she's 115 pounds? Yeah, she looks a little too thick to be 115 pounds at 5'5". She's gotta be at least like one, 130. She got too much booty. Booty to be 115 pounds. But yeah, that's weird with the uh, controls. I think they, they probably figured they were making an improvement over the tank controls with the new new games, but it's, it's very hard, honestly, to, um... This is spooky. To make an improved control scheme with a camera like this, I think. Can we go in here? Like, as janky as it is, a lot of it is because of the fixed camera, I think. This toilet has some rather disgusting stains. Horrible smell linkers. Okay. I don't know what the point of this bathroom is other than being stanky. There's nothing else in here. Is there a toilet puzzle? Toilet paper. Alright, let me check the zombie corpses. There might be something on them. I gotta remember to check the corpses, because sometimes they have random ammo on them. Nope. Nothing. Did go upstairs? Squeaky light. Attack layer booty though, I know, right? <laughs> Honestly, though, it's not quite Jill-level booty. Jill definitely has... I think Jill has best booty. I don't remember Rebecca booty. Chris booty's pretty good. Ari has some good booties in it. Definitely better than Silent Hill booties. We did it. What about two booty? Definitely not on that level. <laughs> Wait, what is that emote for? I can't see it on my screen. Can't tell what that is. Rebecca's booty is flat, okay. H, I can't combine herbs. I literally had one herb. Oh, it's an egg? Okay. <laughs> I didn't see it. Alright, what else is in here? This, room, this is a very uh, creaky, creaky light room. Nothing useful here. There's a map, maybe? Okay, we got a map. Now we can compulsively check it. It seems that someone didn't finish their soup. Still a bit warm. There's also cockroaches crawling in it. Adds protein. 
Alright, so the door straight ahead we gotta go through, it looks like. Is it this one? I just Rebecca just is not a memorable char character to me. I don't remember what happened to her in um in one. Didn't she get poisoned or something by a snake? Did she? And you go to like get the um the antidote for her and you heal her. But I don't remember what happened to her after that. May thirteenth. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I've found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. Today Bob was told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss, named Alfred, supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? It's gonna happen to me. May 20th. Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've never been hearing that it- I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. I mean, it is- it is behind a, a guillotine or guillotine, however you say that stand, so that's not surprising. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I'd better pray for Bob. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. Why am I not playing a racing game? Oh, the, the chair. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I gotta go fast. Oh yeah, she can play the piano really well. That's true. That's true. I remember that. Now that you said it. Find Annie Toad. Did you do something to your hair? Um, not recently. I'm due for a haircut though. Um, I don't know what to do and I can't stop thinking about it. Is that gonna happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I'm next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I gonna do? Spooky. Is this guy gonna grab me? Grab me? Grab me? Grab me? No. She's looking like there's something down there, so typically... Typically in the games I thought that when they pivot their heads there's something I'm missing on the, the ground. Or like, elsewhere. Jesus Christ! I knew that was coming and it still scared me! <laughs> Why does he have Uzis? Can I get them? Stop him! Stomp him! What? Who are you? <laughs> I want under the bed! <laughs> the one under the bed! Oh my god! Aiming. Jesus, he just, <laughs> he just like shimmies up from under there, like, hey, what's going on? Party? Party happening? <laughs> Not without me. Wait. They appear to be toiletries. They've all been used and are worn out. Ew. 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 I should probably save, honestly. Remember saving. Do I get the Uzi? Ho 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 I don't know what that is. But I'll take it. And I will equip it immediately. Yes. So I guess standard is a secondary, like a quick switch between items, but I don't know how to do that. He's still twitching. He was gonna give them to me. I was just gonna kindly hand them over. <laughs> we didn't give him the chance. We're a terrible person. There's gonna be a zombie in the toilet or something. Down the end here, there's like blood smears. Oh, nope, just bullets. Oh. Where's the body? It's just like a blood puddle with bullets in them. It's like someone like <laughs> spontaneously combusted and just left uh, bullets behind. Wait, 
When you get an op and what awesome weapon, but it's a replica used in a puzzle. I think we can actually fire this one, fortunately. But I'm I'm confused why they give this to me so early, unless there's like a boss fight impending, at which I hope there isn't, because I did not heal. This guy's gonna jump me, isn't he? He's waiting. He's waiting for the opportunity. Let's walk around him. Don't trust him. Here you go, brains. I used to have a shirt in high school that said uh, Itchy Tasty on it, but I have no idea where it went. I think it's gone for good. And it had like the zombie face from the uh, GameCube remake. I guess... What did we accomplish here? We got a map. That's it, right? We got a map and we got the Uzis. Or the guns, whatever they are. I don't see- I don't remember where the save station is on here. Is it the purple square? I don't know if the zombies respawn. Let's find out. Let's die and have to do this all over again! I don't think the herbs grow back, but let's check just in case. Pretty sure they don't. There's no difficulty level in this game. I don't know if they added the difficulty levels to the remakes, but uh, there at least there was a difficulty level in um, RE1. It was very weirdly worded though, it like asked if you liked long, uh, meandering, relaxing hikes or like steep cliffs or something. It didn't just say normal or hard. If I remember correctly, once you use the ammo and it's useless? Oh, okay. That's good to know. I still feel like I need to use it right now though, because um, I am in a bit of a pinch. Like there's all these zombies out here that I have to run by. Uh oh, we got a dog. I don't want to go that way! I don't know where I'm actually going. <laughs> like, I don't know where the game wants me to go. I feel like I missed a uh, typewriter somewhere. I know, right? Lara Croft, seriously. She needs more booty, though. She should be more gentle with the zombies. They just want to be your zombie. They can't be my zombie. They might want to be, but they can't be. Should I try to backtrack? I gotta go all the way through that, um... Shit. Is that through the area with all the zombies to get to the save station? I think it is, right? I don't want to risk that, but progressing is worse. I feel like I have to trigger the thing under here and it's gonna kill me. Let's do it. Can we crawl? We can't crawl, right? I can go to the left, it looks like. It looks like it's a one-way of some sort. How's it going, Puma? Good to see ya! Welcome to Code Veronica. It's been locked with a padlock. Shit, did I miss a key inside? Yeah, because where else can I go? I must have missed a key inside, because if I backtrack... I'm just waiting for this thing under here to... to pop out at me. Maybe it's got a key on it? Because I can't, can't go in through here. Alright, I'm gonna try go going back in here and just quickly looking and see if I seeing if I missed a key, because I feel like that's something they would have left lying around. But yeah, they, they do have a lot of backtracking, that's true. That's something that they've uh, improved upon a little bit with the later later games, I guess. It sucks, but from what my understanding of uh, the backtracking in a lot of older games is um I mean the book. Is uh, because of the limitations of the uh, disk size and how much they could store, like for new areas. 
so they didn't have as much space to uh, to have newer areas in, in the games. So they just recycled more of the old ones with the backtracking. This looks like a shrimp game. <laughs> it is a shrimp-like game, but I'm doing really bad at it. It's been so long since I've played one of these, but... Yeah, it's gotta be- it's gotta be something up- maybe in the toilet? Is the key in the toilet? Did we miss toilet key? I can't really use anything here, right? I can't oozy the toilet. It's not something stupid like we actually have to hit this. I don't remember any environmental damage in any of these games. Can be good in well-designed spaces, though. Yeah, exactly. Well, if it's integral to the game itself, then yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you. It can definitely be done well, but it's, it's definitely something that is more common in older games, I think. I feel like there must have been a key for the padlock. Because if I backtrack further into the prison... Did it get darker in here? Yeah, he's, he doesn't have anything on him. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Hm. Less in the middle stall? This is very weird. Okay. Well, I guess we go back through the mob of zombies. Maybe it'll be on one of those dudes. They did say there was a briefcase under the bus with the uh, the zombie there, but did not let me examine it, so maybe it's something to do with that. Wait, did I miss the corner over there? There's only one in there, right? It's another little cubby. Yeah, this is where he busts through. Okay. Alright. Gotta have enemies breaking through the windows in every res Resident Evil game. So I'm probably gonna die in this next area because I feel like I can't sprint through with the tank controls and I can't aim quick enough. Um, and I may have to redo everything. So I'm hoping that's not the case, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, can I go just go around? You just go around, right? I'm so dumb. Okay, well, nothing to see here. It's probably a dog. It's probably just a dog. Just a dog. Thanks for the follow, JMC. Welcome to the stream. Can I open this from the other side? It's been locked from the other side with padlock. Okay. Still locked with the padlock. Still need a key. The padlock does not magically disappear because we went on the other side of the door. <laughs> oh, for fuck's Help sake! Me. Help me. Help. Help me. It's gonna suck. These are the, like, least enthusiastic zombie groans I think I've heard in a long time. Ugh. Alright, we can't shoot him through there. Give me herb. Give me herb, please. Dumpster? Give me herb? Apparently a dust- what is a dust box? <laughs> Just a dust box. <laughs> Alright, there's a door behind me. Door dead ahead. It's a door down the very end. Can I hit the switch over here? Is it gonna grab me when I do? Yep. It's gonna be full of zombies! It appears to be locked. Must release the lock first. No, you did- I just, I would like a safe spot, please. What kind of Euro trash? Inglando is. Wait, what? K. 
can't see nothing. Is this the lock? The activation lamp is on? Please deposit any metallic items no! in the security box. Why? There's zombies in there. Can I? Why do they gotta do this? Why? What if I just keep going? Oh, I've done it now. I've done it now. <laughs> what if I deposited them? Re, 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 re. <sighs> it doesn't let me do it. Oh, I gotta put my weapons away and the zombies are gonna chase me. They're gonna eat me and I'm gonna die. I feel it. This is already more tense than Alien Isolation. <laughs> Can I keep my knife at least? Anything? Let's try just keeping the knife. No, I want a second slot. There we go. Yeah, knife is not gonna make it through, I guess. God damn it. Let's try that again. There's so many zombies out there. Please deposit oh, any it knows. items you have in the security box. This game you're worried about Steve around the corner, not a Zeno. I know, right? <laughs> He's definitely more horrifying. This is so dumb, I'm gonna die. I am gonna just die. There's so many zombies. Wait, what do I have? Bullets? Seriously? <laughs> My bullets are dangerous. Bullets without the gun are dangerous. Okay. Thank you. Deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Is it literally everything? Is it the lighter too? I have to go back through? Oh. I think I have to do the bullets too, and probably the lighter. That's also metallic. Literally my entire inventory is metallic. <laughs> Alright, try again. Oh, it's, it's good. Okay. Um, so now we die. It's been real. <laughs> Zombies. Are they here? Did they move? Nope. Herb, Herb, please, first aid spray. Oh, yes. Thank you. I can't get the weapon from the thing. I tried. It's the first thing I tried. I'll try it again, just so you'll stop teasing me, but it's the first thing I tried. Please deposit any it just wants me to deposit things. In the security box. Unless I can examine it again and then take it. Nope. Doesn't like my first aid spray. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll, I'll, I guess I should use this because I can only tank like one more hit. I don't want to risk it where I haven't saved in like 10 billion years. Suboptimal healing. But whatever. Alright, what else we got in here? Control panel of the 3D scanner. There's an activation switch. Push the switch? Sure, why not? Activating the enhanced 3D scanner. Please place the material you wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. Oh, I don't have a thing. I need the thing to make the hawk. User's manual. Our new product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. If you've placed the material you wish to have converted on 
on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. So I, I need something to clone. There's not anything on the table, right? Unless there's something in the... In the out spot? No. Alright, so I gotta find the thing to clone. Maybe I missed it somewhere. Oh, it's a puzzle! Oh no, it's flame rounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I duplicate the flame rounds? Can I just make infinity ammo? <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Gas rounds? Am I gonna get a grenade launcher like this early in the game? No shared security box? Yeah, no, not the security box. Uh, that's not the regular security box. Various manufacturing devices are placed here. Oh, maybe in the trash. Yo, Wooly, how's it going? Good to see ya. Your favorite Resident Evil? Really? Have you played them all? I'm enjoying it so far. I'm having a little difficulty, though. I'm uh, tanking a lot of damage because it's been so long since I've played a game with tank controls. So on top of my usual uh, usual badness, I'm struggling a bit. But I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, I don't see anything here I can clone. I gotta go back and find something. But where have I not explored yet? That's the thing. At the end here? Remember my eyes! <laughs> How could I forget my eyes? How could I forget the salt when you shot? Yeah, I already have more ammo than the entirety of RE1, that's very true. Who's typing? Facts on the Facility Access Application. Be sure to verify the content of the following Facility Access Application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. I hereby apply for access. Permission for a prison area D. Details follow. Victor's name Carl Grisham. Visitor's name. Did I say victim? <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. <laughs> Carrying in, in the following materials. Okay. New product sample. Various daily commodities. We'll use a transportation truck. TG sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Oh, yeah, okay. So we, that's what we missed outside in the area with all the zombies that are going to kill us. Arr, it's in the briefcase, isn't it? Oh, who's typing? It's too spooky. It's a zombie. Oh, no, it's Elaine. Chris oh, no, it's him. <laughs> Steve, Steve, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's with that choker? Is it like a tracking device? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Oh, ah. Siblings. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it seems your brother is under You speed, the, speed around them all? What? Well, yeah, that's awesome. They seem like they'd be kind of hard to speed run. Because the controls. To Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. <laughs> She's so hey, sassy. I was just kidding. <laughs> Thanks. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. He's, he's just like such a pile of angst. What was How old is he that? supposed to be? What was that all about? <laughs> I'm so happy. Nope. Well, that's not what I wanted to use, but I need this. <laughs> I wanted to use the ink ribbon on the typewriter. Aw, oh, amazing. I was saying with uh, with playing through Alien Isolation, I got a similar feeling as playing these older uh, RE games and that the save stations were just very limited checkpoints instead of like being able to save everywhere. It definitely adds to the tension because you're always feeling like, okay, I gotta get to this, this next save, save point. Like, this is how 
few supplies I have between now and then to get me there. And if I die between now and then, I gotta redo everything I just did. Like, to me, that's most of the tension. And survival horror is more than, like, the scares themselves, or, like, at least a significant portion of the tension. Um, actually gotta take another pee break, guys. I apologize. I drank way too much tea before I started streaming, but I will be back in, like, two minutes. I'm gonna get a cough drop, too, because my throat's getting, like, <sighs> I'm definitely getting coming down with something. But I will be right back, and we will hopefully not run into Steve again for a long time. Should be good to go for a while. Oh, it's adventure time? I gotta write another one of those. There's only three so far, but I still need more ideas for them. I can do an alien isolation one, probably. Or like a Dark Souls one. Alright. Back to Code Veronica. Now I can breathe. <laughs> I don't have to worry about dying and having to redo the entire beginning of the game again. So I gotta clone this thing. It's already been sent. Can't do anything else. So this is probably for that gate outside. This is <laughs> it's the Dark Souls of Horror Games. <laughs> Not quite. Yo, as far as survival horror games, though, I don't know what would be considered the most difficult. Are there some games that are notoriously difficult? Let me open from this side. Because, to me, the difficulty in the Resident Evil games just comes from the controls more than the actual gameplay being difficult. I don't remember any of them being super hard. Have you seen that video? I've seen one video where that the guy was just like saying every like the Dark Souls of everything. Like he's like given a weather forecast and he's like, this is gonna be like <laughs> this storm is gonna be the Dark Souls of weather. I don't know if that's the one you're referring to. I also I apologize for the cough drop. I'm trying to keep my throat in a uh, talking shape here. It feels swollen. Can I- do I just use the thing? It 
It's not material that's ready to be processed, right? Let's check it. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Only the mods one. <laughs> Oh, the games, uh, the games you mentioned earlier oh. are difficult. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. The double O shit. <laughs> you know, I was also, guys, I was also considering doing the, um, there's an FMV X-Files game for PS1, and I think it was also PC. I was considering doing that this month, but I don't know if it's any good. I heard it was kind of garbo, but definitely not as bad as the PS2 X-Files game. Oh yeah, Siren. Siren is pain. That's probably, yeah, the animation. I think Siren. I think you're right. That's probably the most difficult. I love watching people play that, though. Do, 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 do. Let me just try this one more time, because I feel like I'm just being stupid. Let me try it on this side. I think I just used it on the wrong side. Yep. This is so fancy, it's like the future. Oh my god, thank you for the follow, Bernardo. Welcome to the stream. It's 3D printing before 3D printing was a thing. If the materials are set, I can restore the object. All right, so the dad has been prepped, but I don't have the materials. And I don't see them lying around. So I guess I gotta go get them elsewhere. So what did we learn? I think I gotta go get the key from the bus. Or something from the bus. You whispered me in the video? Okay, thanks, War. War. I'll check it out uh, after the stream. Because that is, that is a thing that needs to die. Comparing everything to Dark Souls. It definitely needs to die. Alright, I have nothing else. Okay, so oh, okay, so this opened the thing outside. Let me go outside. X Files for PS1 was FMB. Yeah, it was FMB. I think it was like FMB mixed with that uh, point and click. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. I mean, our grenades metallic. <laughs> Our grenade uh, launcher rounds metallic? Our ink ribbons metallic? Let's find out if ink ribbons are metallic. I'm guessing they probably are. They're in like a little metallic canister. They won't even let me take my ink ribbons? This is terrible. Oh, they let me. No! They won't let me take my. Mm. How dare they! This, this is the worst. This is actually the worst. I don't care about the ammo. I just care about my ink ribbons. I'm a compulsive saver. I need my fix. Whatever. I'm gonna forget these are even in here. I just watched the X-Files season 2 episode where the volcano research team is going crazy. Some more character actors popping up I recognize. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few uh, cameos throughout the series. I don't remember that specific episode, but you're getting to where it gets really good. I think season three and four were my favorite so far. Blood Samus, how's it going? Hello, new chair. <laughs> oh yeah, it was it was your stream I was watching the other day when I was putting it together. You get to hear me whine about uh, about my struggles with it. This is the result. It, it's huge. It looks like it's trying to eat me, but super comfortable so far. I'm hoping it holds up. My back holds up, but uh, so far so good. And I can even tilt it back and like kick back and relax when I'm watching Twitch streams. It's great. Cause typically when I um when I watch Twitch streams, I'll like take my wedge pillow and just like lie on my bed. Cause my bed's right behind me. But uh, I end up falling asleep a lot of the time when I do that. <laughs> like when <laughs> when I don't wanna be falling asleep. So um if I use the chair instead, I'll actually stay awake. Hopefully. In theory. 
Oh, it takes, okay. So we still got the limited system. Like, we gotta move everything around to fit different things. Oops. Oh, controls, please. There we go. Boop. Demon Souls is the Dark Souls of Soulsborne games. I mean, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Did scientists really do all this puzzle stuff just to unlock doors? Screw that, I wouldn't work there. <laughs> yeah, they, they make uh, people jump through hoops to open a goddamn door, right? Let me equip my shit. I should probably hang on to the, um... The gun. The Uzi, whatever it is. What is banging around? Oh, this dude. Okay! I knew- Oh, it's full of zombies! Who knew everything was zombies? Who knew? What a shocker. Run! Get out! Get the materials! Get the fire extinguisher! I don't know what I'm grabbing. <laughs> I'm grabbing a fire extinguisher, okay! We gotta put the the other guy who's on fire- uh, Not on fire anymore. This is bad. This is not the situation that we want to be in. Stop! Reloading. No, zombies! <laughs> Run! No! <laughs> Where am I going? Where am I going? No, I gotta go through- No! No, 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 no! Get out of here. Nope. Um, nope. Where am I going? mow them all over. This South Park game is weird. Oh, the fractured butthole. The new one. I'm kind of curious. I don't really give a shit about South Park, but uh, I heard the South Park games are really good. I have a friend who really likes them. Kind of curious to see what they're like. Jesus! It's a dog! I knew it! It's a fucking dog! Oh, it's two dogs! No! No! Two dogs! <laughs> Aiming. Why are dogs such bullet sponges in these games? Also because I can't aim! <laughs> there we go. Jesus. I missed like probably 10 shots there. Pre pre pretty much 10 shots. I think that was not good. I used so much ammo. The old, uh, two dogs instead of one dog trick. Two dogs, one Redfield? No! <laughs> there's a shitting- there's a shitting minigame in- <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's a, that does seem like a very South Park, Park thing to put in a game. Apparently though, the new Yakuza game, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2 I think it was? It was either Yakuza, Kiwami 2, or 6. I think it's Kiwami 2 has a pissing minigame where, you, where you're in the bathroom and you yeah. I don't know the details of it, but there's a pissing minigame. That's something the Yakuza series needed. Derp a derp, derp a derp. I got a fire extinguisher. Where am I gonna use it? On the bus guy? On the bus? I'm uh, guessing I have to use this on the bus. And get the briefcase out of it, which is probably completely incinerated at this point, but it's okay. Because video game logic. Right, aiming. Thanks for the host war, I appreciate it. What is that gushing noise? Ew, is it like a zombie orgy over here? What's happening? It's a zombie orgy. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't think I can head stomp them here. I tried before. <laughs> His death 
background. So good. But yeah, guys, check out War if you haven't followed him. He's real chill. He's been playing a lot of Hollow Knight lately. He is not breathing, guys. I think we're too late. <laughs> He's not breathing. Can I use the fire extinguisher? It looks like it crashed into the wall. Zombie brunch. Zombie nomming. Okay. It looked very weird from um the other side. Thank God for quick reloading in new games. There's no need to use it now. So I just, I wasted all my ammo to come back here because I thought this is what I was supposed to do. <laughs> this is not what I was supposed to do. Maybe on the other side? I think there's more zombies out here though. And I used all of the bullets. And there's many zombie out here. Many, many zombie. You know what? I have that other gun though. Let's use all of our ammo. <laughs> Diane, he's not breathing. Also, half the head is gone. Also, I found a small box of chocolate bunnies with their heads bitten off. Cooper out. Um. Alright, we need a strat here. Apparently this is the strat. <laughs> Were we actually hitting two at once there? What am I aiming at? Hello? Oh, okay. We're trying. We're doing like the Dante from Devil May Cry aim. <laughs> Damn good zombie. <laughs> Damn, damn good zombie. Alright. So I think I'm supposed- I hope to god this is what I'm supposed to do here. Is use this fire extinguisher that apparently- Yeah, I think it is. Why is this fire not going out? It's like torrential rain! This is kind of unbelievable. This is more unbelievable, unbelievable to me than the zombie invasion. The fact that this fire isn't going out in the rain. I have never seen The Walking Dead, so I don't even know who that is. Actual Tomb Raider! <laughs> oh my god. All we need is some boulders rolling after us, and gonna jump over some traps. We'll, we'll be a real Lara Croft someday, but for now we just get to train on zombies. Oh, I should look at the- look at the uh, briefcase. It's a gas fire? So it's harder to put out? I guess I still- do I need this? Can I deposit this? It's empty. Why do I have an empty extinguisher? So I'm assuming the materials in here I used to- to uh, 3D print. Right, let's see if we can open it. There's a button. Push it. Yep. Da -da -da. Yep, that's the thing I need. I think. Yeah, it's an alloy. Alright. So why can't I just use the emblem itself? That's what I'm confused about. Why is there a graveyard at this research facility? I guess they at least had like the, the human decency and kind kindness to <laughs> to dispose of their victims properly instead of in like a mass grave or like just incinerating them all? Maybe? I don't know. That's a good question though. Thank you for your continued support. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's acting up. For your continued support and for using our products, this time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy. Oh, that's why we got a... Oh, okay. Because we wouldn't be able to get the Hawk emblem through the metal detectors, so we gotta make a fake one. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors, cannot be pictured by... Rowan... Rowan... Genography at the immigration check? I don't know what that means. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons use utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Carl Redhill. Alright, let's go make a key.
imagine you became a scientist and got an awesome job at a high-end facility and you got there and there was a graveyard on site? I know, right? You would hopefully be a little bit suspicious at that point. Was there anything else in here or was it just zombies? I don't want to open. I don't want to open them. Was this the gate? No, this- okay, this is the one we need to use the thing on. I'm looking at the wrong one. So this is the one we need the key for. Is this way? How's it going, Reckless Powers? Yeah, I don't watch much TV uh, either, Onimusha. I don't have cable. Honestly, I mostly watch Twitch and, um, like if there's a specific series I want to watch, I will watch it on a website, or if there's something I see on Amazon, I'll watch it through there. But aside from that, I don't really watch much of anything. Amazon's got some good stuff on it, though. I canceled my Netflix, but I'm going to renew it for uh, the new season of Stranger Things. I'm really excited about that. Looks pretty good. Stranger Things looks like it's going to be pretty uh, Lovecraft inspired, honestly, which is exciting. Because I feel like there's not enough of that in um, TV and movies lately. That type of atmosphere. There's way too many zombies here! Holy shit! Did they respawn? Or are these all the dudes that were in that thing? Alright, this is open now. So maybe I can go in here and get something. There's something at the bottom of this guillotine. <laughs> this looks like a trap. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a key! It's a shortcut key. Poor dude on the guillotine. There's an indentation on the indigo blue plate. I might need more of the ally for that. Right now I'm just gonna use it for the hawk thing. But I'm sure there's something else I have to duplicate. Was there anything else in here now that I took the zombies out? I don't think there was. It's this big caution thing. Wait, there's an exorcist TV show now? How do they even make that into a TV show? Is it, I'm assuming it's not based on the original movie. Because I don't think there was enough material there to make a TV show. Yeah, the ones I didn't kill before. I've, <laughs> I remember now the ones I knocked down. Zombie bowling. Zombie bowling. Hope they really go for it in season two. Enjoyed a good bit of it, but not all. A little tropey. Yeah, the, um... I agree with you that it was pretty. Some of it was a little, little tropey, but I liked the pacing of it. Like it was very, very good to binge watch. I watched it all in one day, and the setting was uh, was fun. I guess the only thing I can take through is the alloy. But uh, I, I like the show. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking, but I really enjoyed watching it more than a lot of what I've watched lately. Considering I don't watch much, so I don't really have high standards. But, uh, I pretty much am only watching The Expanse right now. There's no way it's pinging on the alloy. Oh, it's my stupid lighter, isn't it? It doesn't like my lighter. For some reason. I always forget that because it's in that slot. Excuse me. Oh yeah, Winona Ryder's character is so good in it. I actually, um, last Halloween I streamed, I did her character as a costume for Halloween. And I had, uh, I had like the little fake plastic hatchet and I had, um, like a light up Christmas light necklace. It was pretty fun, but I really liked her character a lot. I know some people said she was overacting, but I mean her character was basically a hysterical mother who lost her child, so I don't, I don't know. Like, what else she was supposed to act like? <laughs> Did you see that gif of Winona at the awards thing? No, I didn't. What awards thing? Chalupa! How's it going? Good to see you. Long time to see. Hope you're doing well. Um, how are things going? What did you think of Alien Isolation? I loved Alien Isolation. I am so happy that I got a chance to play that because it is 
very good. Like, in my opinion, it was a very good game. It was one of the best, um... One of the best games based on a movie that I've ever played, if not the best. It's very hard to find good games that are based on, um, movies. And, uh, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a very heavy stealth game, more than anything. But what have you been up to, Chalupa? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. We did it! Oh my god, it's so intense! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we got it. Duplication complete. Easy pause. Hi, Charlie. Oh. Oh, kitty. Oh, kitty. <laughs> Play Chronicles of Rinnick? That's a game? Oh, a movie-based game, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's fantastic. Charlie! No. No. Ah. Uh, honey. She's like Vel- What are you- <laughs> What are you doing? She's like slowly sliding down into my lap. There you go. You did it. There you go. There were so many memes. YouTube Winona Pizza. Oh, I gotta remember to do that after this stream. Do you have a Discord cell? Are you on Discord? Because it's gonna say I have a Discord and you can link it there. But I'll, I'll try to remember after the stream. To, uh, to look it up. It's actually good? I never saw the movie. That's the one with Vin Diesel, right? One of his, his many action movies. Charlie, stop nudging them. Mm. Alright, she's on my lap. Let's see if she behaves. I don't think she's gonna behave. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Disaster. Disaster. Can I get my stuff back? No, 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 zombie. Come out here. We're gonna try to do the juke and probably walk right into him. Jukes, 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 yeah. No, 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 jukin. Charlie. No jukes. No, no, no. I juked back into him. <laughs> no, get the weapons. Take them. Hey. You being a good kid? I can probably just leave the fire extinguisher. I hope I don't actually need that for anything. <laughs> I'll take it. Maybe just in case. Who knows. I guess those, those uh, grenade rounds are dead to me. Schedule's been busy with work and studio time. Been slowly playing Horizon Zero Dawn, which is really good. You're enjoying it, Chalupa? That's uh, if you're very busy with work and, and studio stuff, I feel like it's gonna take you a long time to get through that game. That game's super, uh, let's get a lot of content to it, right? It's a big, very uh, intensive playthrough, but I'm glad you're enjoying it. It looks pretty cool. It's not really, uh, not really up my alley personally, but I, uh, really enjoyed watching people play it. Miki, how's it going? Good to see you. Your game? Yeah, this, this game's great so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm struggling a little bit with the control scheme still, but... Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's got that, that, that typical classic RE feel to it. Oh yeah, it is on sale too, but I saw that earlier when I got this game. I got this on the PS Store for three three seventy five. It was super cheap. Um, no, Charlie, no, not on the desk. No, 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 you going off the chair. You go, you go that way. But yeah, it's 100% worth $11, Chulupa, because I think that comes with the DLC, too. How did Alien Isolation go? I didn't realize how uh, close I was to the end of the game. I only had, like, uh, 30 minutes of the game, I think, left. But it, it went well. The ending was kind of, like, unsatisfying, I guess. I didn't expect a happy ending, but she, she kind of just drifted off into space. 
Hopefully I won't need that for a puzzle. If I need that for a puzzle, Lady Musha, we're, we're gonna have to have a talk. <laughs> but no, I don't think I will. Watch there be a puzzle that's like weighted, and you have to like, it's like a something you gotta put a weight on. And uh, that's all we had. All right, so where did I have to use this? I hear another zombie. How is he back? Go away! Go away. Guys, did you know the door is still completely nailed down? No, I'm juking to him, no! <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt I do. I doubt I do. Now, Chalupa, do you teach classes year-round, or is it kind of a seasonal thing? I forget if you have the summers or off or not. Can't be open. Shit, I should've opened it the other way. Please, no doggos. Sorry, I didn't hear it. It got buffering. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I really, um... I really liked Alien Isolation. The ending was pretty, um... Unsatisfying, though. Like I, like I was saying, I didn't really expect a happy ending from it, but they just kind of left Amanda drifting in space. <laughs> I guess that uh, some salvage crew would pick her up eventually. Because someone had mentioned in Aliens, um... She it said that like she uh, settled down and got married or whatever, so she she didn't die. But um, I don't know. I liked I liked the game a lot. I don't know if I liked the ending, but I liked the game a lot. Very good. Have you played these older RE games before? Yeah, actually, I played uh, zero through five. Um, I played zero, one, two, and three on the GameCube. Why are there so many zombies? Why? Why are there so many zombies? Why? Where am I going? We did it. Please no die. But I, I grew up, uh basically playing RE1, RE2, RE3 on the GameCube. And uh, I still <laughs> I still don't have a handle on the controls, so I have no excuse. But uh, I love those games. Those are some of my favorites still. As janky as they are, they're a lot of fun. Is there a zombie in the Jeep? I cannot proceed from this side. It sounded very formal, for the road is fucking blocked. I wonder if nailed down was a correct translation? What else would it say? <laughs> I can't wait to bomb some dodagos. There's something in there. Can I get it this side? I need bullet. I'm running really low on bullet. Oh, herb. Oh, got some of that dank herb. Two herb. Can I combine two green herbs? I feel like you gotta combine a green with a yellow or a red, right? To make it more effective. Not two greens, or maybe it works. That way. I don't remember. Should play a Dead Rising game? I actually, um, I played a bit of the first Dead Rising for, I think it was Xbox, back in college with someone. It was pretty fun. But uh, I don't know if I'd play it on stream. Thank you, bullet! Oh, for the love of god. This game used to scare me. I had my older brother play it for me. Honestly, though, Miki, when I played RE1 uh, for the GameCube, I got so scared by the first zombie that I, like, shut the GameCube off as soon as I saw it and threw my controller across the room. And uh, I ended up playing through a lot of it with my, my uh, younger brother because I couldn't do it alone. I was too spooked. Oh, let's push a box. This is an RE game after all. It's been it's been about an hour and a half into the game. And we haven't pushed a box yet. Just a box. We gotta push it to get over the fire. I guess. This is this is quite the puzzle. I don't know if we can solve this one. I jinxed it, because I can't push. There we go. No push! No! 
Oh my god, push, push. Analog. What if I use the D-pad? Oh my god. Can I climb? Yes. Can I? Oh, can we do it? Nope. Gotta push it more. Oh, this is so janky. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to push this damn box. But it's not locking her onto it. Is it stuck? Can I push it further forward, maybe? Shit, it's stuck. Can I pull? I, it, it won't let me push it to the right anymore. You teach year around, but schedule changes in the summer. You're teaching eight this semester? Eight classes? Like eight different classes? That sounds intense. Now, I know you teach art, Chalupa, but what do you specifically teach? You may have told me before, but my memory is, is absolute ass, so I apologize if you did. <laughs> two greens are better than one. Okay, let me check. Do you think I need the two? I probably do, right, if I'm in caution? No, you know what? One should work. Fine. Oh, no, I'm still in caution. Suboptimal. Caution looks just like caution! It's okay, we're fine. <laughs> How are things at the bakery lately? Things at the bakery are good. We um we finally got some help. We've been super stop walking into the fire. We've been super understaffed lately. But um they finally ended up hiring some people, so fortunately, coming up on the holidays, we'll have a couple of extra set of sets of hands. So I'm looking forward to that. But honestly, I gotta I gotta figure out. I probably gotta look for another job. Because <laughs> I've been there way too long. It's time. It's time to move on. I've been there like seven years and it's really like kind of a dead end job. But I gotta figure out what I actually want to do. That's the problem. Because I don't really like have the money to go back to school or anything. I did go to college, but my degree was useless at the time. I graduated, I literally graduated like the year of the recession. It was not, not good timing. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go through school in three years. I'm gonna get out early. And it was like, it was the recession. Can we stomp him? Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. It's bothering me that I can't head stomp them. That is an RE. That's an RE thing, right? Not a Silent Hill thing? That you head stomp? They're pretty photo real for 2002? Still hold up in the Steam re release? Oh, yeah, there was an HD remaster, right? For this? This is not the HD remaster. This is the PS2. It is securely closed. I can't open it. I did not expect anything else. I used many bullet. Oh. <laughs> right on cue. Re. Re. <laughs> oh yeah, they're redoing too. I remember Zol. Now that you mentioned that. Has there been any word on that? I feel like there's been no, uh, no word on that in a long time and it's kind of, uh, concerning. get knocked down, but he get back up again. I'm gonna have to start running by zombies, because I'm gonna use all my ammo. His head? Wait, that wasn't his head. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. J Baller, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the we're out of ammo stream. It's bad. Thank you for the uptime age. It's 9.20. Free cupcakes? Yeah, I do, I do get free pastries occasionally. Alright, we're doing the Stevie Wonder. There we go. This is not gonna go well. I wanna do crime scene investigation? That sounds very... very. That sounds like it could be really exciting or really tedious. If it's like it is on TV, it would be very exciting. It requires photo taking and dusting for prints. Wait, that's it? <laughs> that seems like it'd be very competitive then, because those are pretty uh, pretty easy things. Oh, I knocked his hat off, not his head. Okay. Oh, the GameCube remake, gotcha. Yeah, the GameCube remake looks amazing. It's held up so well. Oh my God. Thanks for the follow Arbalest strike. Welcome. I don't think I can go through the door where everything's on fire, but we're going to try. Most of the 
classes are painting. Wait, hold on, let me pause so I don't get eaten. I think there's... I think I gotta equip this. Um, coupler drawing, which makes it easier since the lessons are pretty similar. Oh, that's nice. But it's still, it sounds very stressful with all those classes to teach. At least you're keeping busy, right? You're not bored between that and the studio. Do you ever get burnt out between, like, teaching and doing your own artwork with that much art? Is this a remaster? No, this is the PS2 one. I think it might have been slightly upscaled resolution for PS4, but I don't think they really touched it up at all. Looks a lot better than I was expecting. It was uh, one of the better looking Resident Evils, the old ones at least. And how's it going, Glacius? Welcome. Nice necklace. I don't have a necklace. What? What necklace? <laughs> Thank you. I don't have a necklace. <laughs> Corono! How's it going? Good to see ya. My voice is, is fading. I apologize, guys. It's fading a little bit because my throat's sore, but... It does sound like dogs, and that makes me un unnerved a little bit. Dogs and like bees? Like flies? Like what is that? Ow. Got him. I guess that's the, the flies up there. How's it going, Jay Baller? Enjoying this game? It's a good RE? Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I, I was saying earlier I've played through, um... You gonna come? Dog? Hello? Um, I've played through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But I never played this one because this wasn't on the GameCube. I played them all on, uh, on GameCube. But, uh, this one... This one's good. It seems like it's held up pretty well as far as the RE games can hold up with the control scheme and everything. How many dogs are there? Jesus Christ! This is not good. Oh, he only took two hits. I really need some ammo though. This- <laughs> I- I- my problem is I'm like- I'm playing it less like a survival horror game and more like an action game right now. I gotta conserve ammo more, because I'm gonna be fucked. Poor doggo. <laughs> I mean, the dogs in uh, survival horror games are always assholes. The dogs in every video game pretty much are always assholes. Is there a video game where the dog isn't an asshole? Maybe like Fallout 4, where he carries your stuff for you? That's the only one I can think of offhand. But uh, usually in most video games, dogs are just jerks. They're definitely terrible in the Soulsborne games. Oh, I know where this goes! It was by the guillotine. Is it guillotine or guillotine? It's French, right? Just enough dogs? <laughs> Thank god there's no more. That's- that's- that'd be one too many dogs for me to handle. She's looking like she- there's something there, but there's not. Alright, so maybe there's a shortcut back there? Shit, was there a door up by where the herb was? This is cool. I hope those dogs don't respawn. Oh, yes! We got bullets! Bullets, boys! I'll be taking those and immediately loading them into my gun to free up the spot. Let's equip the handgun again. I kind of want to save this just in case there's, um... A boss anytime soon. There typically aren't many bosses in these games, but you never know. Or at least if there are bosses, they're not super memorable. Like, thinking back, they're really... I don't remember a lot of bosses. I remember Lisa. Was Lisa even a boss from RE1? It's been so long since I've played any of them. I played them all as a teenager. It was like 15, 16 years ago. You should play through six? Co-op with age? No! <laughs> I heard it was terrible! I don't want to play a 30 hour Resident Evil game, that sounds awful! Case- a ta tash case from four is the best item management system? Oh yeah, the one where you kind of move everything around to make more inventory space? I liked that a lot. I remember that. Can we- there we go. Wasn't there a 
Lisa in, in Resident Evil 1? Hold on. There's... There's someone who's like all messed up looking and she's like groaning in the basement and jangling things. And she's chained. Thanks for the follow- Oz, huh? Welcome. Um... Unless I'm missing something. And thanks for the fall glaciers. Um, rest of construction materials? What is this? Is this where I use this thing? Oh, I guess I was wrong. I thought I used it in the other one, but that must be a different thing. There's no need to use it now. Let me check it first. I guess that's a hexagon, not an octagon, so that doesn't work. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I was onto something. There's a few, few too few sides there, I guess. It's an octagon, right? Yeah, octagon. Well, we tried. Excuse me. You played co-op RE6. Using kicks only it was fun for about 40 minutes. Were you pressured into that t-shirt? Oh, t-shirt, how far did you get in Cuphead last night? Before bed I was watching a little bit more. Because we tried to watch Alien Resurrection, but the stupid uh, Blu-ray player software that we were using glitched out. So we couldn't finish it. Before I realized that the PS4 was a Blu-ray player. But, um... I saw you around the dragon, that's probably my favorite so far. Oh, she's in the remake only! Okay, alright. I thought I was, I was gonna say, I thought I remember there being a character named Lisa. I can't be hallucinating that completely. I know my memory's ass, but she was pretty creepy. I'm glad they added her, though. She was definitely uh, one of my favorite parts of the game. She was so spooky. Okay, let's try to get in here. This is probably locked, though. Nope, not locked. <coughs> RE6 is a game is okay, as an RE game, it is awful. Oh boy. Now we are we in RE game. We got a mansion. So I got a map. Oh, it's a palace! It's a step up from a mansion. Alright, if I were a save room, where would I be? I wanna go back to use this um this thing that I got. Wait, what is that? What is that uh emote, J Baller? I can't tell. They're so small on my screen. I <laughs> know the water graphics on point. Those are some Bioshock level water graphics. Uh oh, we got bats. Are they gonna attack me? Please don't hit me, bats. <laughs> Get the RE6 Platinum last year. We'll definitely not do that. We'll definitely not do that if the game wasn't somewhat enjoyable. Yeah, I don't know. It's really like not anything on my list anytime soon. I never, uh, that and RE7, not like, it, they never really uh, caught my eye. RE7 just doesn't feel right to me from what I've seen of it. Ooh, bullets in the toilet! Yes! Shit, what can I get? I can't drop anything. Fuck. Well, remember bullets in the toilet. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna use the herb. I, I hate to do that, but I have no idea where there's a storage box near here. Although there's probably one on the first floor. Let's let's look if there's a storage box and then remember to come back here. This is what? That room? Because I bet there's a safe spot down here. No bats! No bats! Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Stupid bats! <laughs> I was waiting for them to do that. <laughs> I guess I can use the herb now. No, I'm fine. It's one of the most enjoyable co-op games, really. You know, if I was good in co-op, I did that co-op the whole playthrough with the boulder punching and all. My God. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, did RE5 co-op with my ex-boyfriend, and we almost like killed each other with all the <laughs> amount of times we had to repeat the boulder punching. It was terrible. There's this one scene near the end where Chris is just punching a boulder, and it's a quick time event, and both players have to like spam. 
quickly spam button press um, to advance. Because, like, one player is, like, fighting uh, Wesker, I think, and someone is, uh, Chris is, like, punching a boulder. But, um, if one person dies, you gotta do it all over again. You won a copy of RE7 this past weekend, but it's for Xbox One and you don't have a one. Well, you could probably, if you really want to play it, you could probably, um, sell it and buy it for PC, right? If you have a PC that can run it? Or PS4? Oh, it's a flat earth emote, okay. <laughs> That's what it looked like, but I was like, why would someone have an emote of that? That's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, Sh Shiva or Shiva, however you say her name, is uh, kind of obnoxious. Her like her costume that uh, unlocks after you beat the game though is pretty great. Silver Crest. But yeah, I can't imagine playing through that game solo. The co-op was fun though. It was very arcadey feeling compared to the other games. Oh, you beat the the dragon guy t-shirt nice he's pretty difficult like I had a I had a lot of trouble with him he really depends on what weapon you use like I had more luck with um shit is there a storage box I had more luck with lobber and him than some of the other guns but his music is my favorite so far so catchy um let me put this away and the knife I feel like I'm gonna regret putting the knife away but it just takes a space that I feel like I don't need. Do, 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 do. I never got my ink ribbons back from the metal detector RIP. I need those. You waited in line for RE5 or RE6? All you remember is you finished the game at 2am. That memorable. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't remember the last time that I, I waited in line for a game either, uh, Miki. Was it like a midnight midnight uh, release line too? I do remember as a kid on GameCube release day, like frantically um, raking the lawn to make the last $20 I needed to buy a GameCube and then going and standing in line at Toys R Us to get it. I don't want the bullets, I don't care about the books. There we go. Do, do, do. I'm gonna put the ink ribbons in here. Do, 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 do. The only time I've ever waited in line for something game related was the original GameCube launch. Same here. Same here. Definitely worth it. That was an amazing console. I know a lot of people were freaking out about the um, the new Super Nintendo Mini, like waiting in line for that. I don't know anyone who actually got one personally, but four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. It's his problem anyway. They say he lives with his twin, sister Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it's a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Hmm. Intrigue. Midnight release. The last time I waited in line was picking up my Switch at midnight. Was it worth it, Corona? Guys, are you having any um, frame drops from the stream or any buffering or anything? I keep seeing red popping up on my, uh, my OBS, which typically means something's getting borked on Twitch's end. There is... <laughs> There is evidence that the shelf has been moved. 
What evidence? <laughs> the, the giant shining thing underneath it? Can we move it? There we go. How's it going for Evan always? Or for, sorry, for Even always. Welcome back. Was it for Even always or for Evan always? I remember you told me how to pronounce it before, but I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Take the ID card. Umbrella ID card. GameCube Luigi's Mansion and Super Monkey Ball. I never played those two, and I've been meaning to. Honestly, when I got release, I, for the GameCube release, I got, um, I want to say Rogue Squadron was the one I got. And I had so much fucking fun with that game, and I don't care. I do not care about Star Wars, but that was super fun. Oh, we're, we're full up on everything. Use it now? Nope, we'll leave that there. Just stopping by, my boyfriend told me to... To watch and check you out. Is it, um, is your boyfriend someone who watches me? Is it someone I know? I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, for Ev. Okay. For Evan always. Gotcha. Well, thanks for stopping by. You, uh, you enjoy Resident Evil games? It's locked. There's an indentation in the shape of two guns. I have a key. Oh! God damn it. <laughs> Who was saying earlier that feel when you get a weapon and it's just a key? Because I almost thought for a second that's that's what it was going to happen here. Because <laughs> I do have two guns. <laughs> oh no. Can't remember the plot of this one. Is there any character switching? I don't know, Chalupa. I don't think so. I think you mostly play as, um, as Claire. But I haven't played it before. This is the one I haven't played. Went to a midnight launch for StarCraft 2. Wasn't really a line as much as a few nerds hanging around GameStop. We did a super awkward countdown <laughs> to midnight for their release. <laughs> I can totally picture that t-shirt. Oh my god. Like, of any game, I feel like that would probably have one of the most awkward lines. Waiting at a GameStop. You know some GameStop lines are more awkward than others for certain games. Some are definitely more cringy than others too. I feel like Pokemon releases would be very cringy. I know that shelf evidence, right? <laughs> so much evidence. Yeah, of course I remember you. I mostly remember you because I remember butcher butchering your name. <laughs> I hate to say it. But uh, no, I, I remember you. I just... uh. I, I am so bad with people's names. And I feel bad, because I've had people, like, say, oh, it's electronically locked? But I'll say people's names one way for a long time, and then they won't correct me, and then they correct me, like, a long time later, and I'm like, I'm sorry! <laughs> Should've said something. You played that on the Dolphin emulator? Oh, uh, Rogue Squadron is still good. The graphics that were awesome at the time. So what is not locked in here? One door directly behind me. But there's an HD mod for the emulator version of that? I gotta check that out because I really like that game. Oh shit, it's over here. No, it's not. That's the one I just... Oh, my card key. Derp. I guess I use that at the computer, maybe? I didn't see a prompt to use the computer, but it's gotta be something like that. There we go. Oh, I gotta check the back of the card. Shit. Just key. Okay! Not me and her. Yep. Yep. I know who that is. Rogue Squadron. Oh, Rogue Leader? Oh, Rogue Leader. Sorry, I get them mixed up. How's it going, Herxina? Good to see ya. Welcome to Code Veronica. Welcome to We Gotta Check All the Things and Read All the Numbers Off of Things. 
Okay, ID. Let me write this down. We gotta use a pen and paper here. This is old school. As I was watching uh, someone play Silent Hill one earlier, and um, it's funny, just just watching people piece through the puzzles in the ga that game, I remember going through Silent Hill 3 and having the pen and paper out just to get through some of the puzzles and write everything down. Because they don't, they don't keep tabs of it in logs, usually, in these older games. Everyone messes it up. Yeah, I, I just, I, I see it as, like, in my head I read forever and always, so forever would make more sense. But who knows? My name is pretty easy to pronounce, fortunately. It's kind of hard to mess up Shrimpy Doodle. <laughs> like... Hopefully. At least no one's messed it up yet. Shrumpy doodle. NTC. Um. Zero. Three. Nine, four. Oh, was it an O or a zero? Shit. I think it was a zero. Oh, episode one racer was so much fun too, Zell. That was a, that was so, I remember that game being like super janky. But as far as racing games go for the N64, that was super fun. Again, I did not I did not care about Star Wars, but it was just like mechanically very fun. It was kind of like uh it kind of felt like F Zero, if that makes sense, a little bit. We did it, and now we can get the ammo. Sick. Oh, I could have got it. Okay, I could have got it anyway, apparently, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Should I go save again? Oh, I feel like that's a waste of an ink ribbon. That's what you're going for. Yeah, that's what I figured. Good name, though. It's hard to come up with creative names, honestly. The only reason I have Shrimpy Doodle is because, um, can we aim for the zombie there? Um, I had, uh, called myself Shrimp on Steam, and, uh, a friend ended up calling me Shrimpy Doodle once or twice, so I kind of went with it because Shrimp was already taken. He's gonna grab my- oh, he's gonna stomp his head! There we go! That's what I- nope. Too many bullets there. <laughs> the 64 had the best version of Wipeout 2. I never played the 64 vi Wipeout, but I did play Beetle Adventure Racing for the Nintendo 64, and I have not talked to one other person who's played that game, but that might be my favorite, favorite racing game of all time. Beetle Adventure Racing for the N64. It is so much fun. Like, stupid fun. There's so many little shortcuts and stuff to find. And I wanted to do a stream of that, but it doesn't work very well with uh, an emulator. I couldn't find a good copy of it. Wait, what? An earthenware pot. An elaborate floral design is drawn on it. Can we smash it? Is there a key in it? Nope. Okay. You always oversave in these games? They do, uh, they do a good job of limiting your saves with the ink ribbon system, though. Does, it definitely makes it more tense. I would love to be able to oversave, but I can't because the game doesn't want me to. Should I miss something in the corner? I might go back. Oh, is this a room where I pull a shotgun off of a shelf and then it starts closing in on me? This looks like a puzzle room if I've ever seen one. I know, right, Chalupa? I checked it earlier and it was okay. And I was surprised, the store. That's when I got this. This was on sale for really cheap. But, um, there's a lot of good stuff on sale. And it's only the first week. I think they said it was like a four-week sale. A jewel modeled after an ant is displayed here. There's a button below. Push the button, sure. What could go wrong? Oh, why is it getting dark?
this is kind of disturbing. Are they gonna kiss? No? Okay. I'm assuming they're brother and sister. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. They're creepy, like, t probably cloned twins of some sort. I don't know why- what is going on there? Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I know, <laughs> creepy face and also derpy face. It almost looked like she was cross-eyed for a second. Aren't you serious? I just killed the zombie. That's a good, good old uh, survival horror staple. Creepy twins. So a zombie takes like eight bullets. That's a lot. And they don't drop anything for the most part. I don't think I've gotten anything off of them. So red herb is useless on its own, right? But it increases the potency. I'm gonna go save actually. Increases the potency of the green herb. One of them is poison. So I get the, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've played a Resident Evil. I know there's red, yellow, and green. Is one of them anti-poison? Is that yellow? And then red increases the potency of green? I straight up don't remember. I also straight up don't remember <laughs> where the save room was. <laughs> I had one job. Is it the one directly behind me? This is the one I just went through. No, I went through the other one. Let's go through here. Yeah, they're for carrying poison green and red. This is more health. Oh, this is the bats. No, oh, no bats. Oh, there's a blue herb? I straight up don't remember blue. <laughs> wow. I don't remember any of that. I think the safe room was upstairs, right? What even poisons you in these games? All I remember is the big snake boss in one. That was a pain. Okay, let's save. You know what, let me grab the herb first. Let me deposit the red herb, I don't need that, I'll use the green herb. It's so tough because there's there's so many different levels of the caution, I feel like. Like, it's a, such, such a wide, um, spectrum that I don't know if I should just use the regular green herb or if I should use the um if I should combine them and use both or if I should wait and tank another hit but I think if I just combine them both and just wait maybe I can just tank another hit maybe I should do that oh the spiders yeah they were later in the game right they're pretty late game in the lab in the lab? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I remember the spiders, but I don't remember where in the game they were. I completely forgot them until you mentioned them, though. Oh, I gotta get the red one. The Nike zombies. <laughs> I remember like zombies and lab coats in uh, in one. At least the remaster. The remaster was two discs, if I remember correctly, too. There we go. And I'll reload, and then I'll save. Adri, are you proud of my reloading? Resident Evil is the one game I actually remember to reload in. Because you have to do it manually. Oh, they're mid-game, okay. I think yellow herbs do exist, right? Or am I making that up? I could have sworn there were yellow herbs. Maybe there aren't. Could have sworn it was yellow, red, green, and blue. Okay, let's take the navy proof back and deposit ink ribbon. I kind of want to backtrack and see what this does. 
before I advance. But that's a haul, and I probably have to use more ammo. There's probably more zombies. Oh, yellow's only in four. Okay. Well, that explains that. I don't even remember how, how to get back to that, um... That place by the, the guillotine. Guillotine. The gilla guillotine. So we'll just continue here. I'm probably gonna have to backtrack there though at some point knowing this game. These games. Works as a green plus green. So why would they even include it? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the difference. Why don't they just keep the green? Plus it increase. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Okay, so it's like a permanent level up. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That's kind of cool. All right, tell me I don't have to watch that creepy video again. Oh, good view. Gotta go around though. So I think I can tank like one or two more hits before I have to heal. Can I take this? Guns from many countries are on display here. We're just gonna look at them. And we're gonna take this instead. <laughs> take the steering wheel, sure. I'll take that, that's what I want, not the freaking shotguns on the wall. What's this? A pair of gold Lugers. I can't take any more items. I'll, I'll go put the other thing back for now. The steering wheel? Is that what I use by the water? Is that a is that a hexagon? No, an octagon. Is the steering wheel an octagon base to it? No, it's just a steering wheel. There was like a symbol of a steering wheel out there though. And there's that briefcase in the bathroom, too. I need way more storage space. <laughs> we definitely need more pockets on our pants. Four is like the predator aliens of gaming. <laughs> it was good. At the time, it was very good. But it was actually... I watched a t-shirt wizard actually played it fairly recently. And I don't know if it's aged very well. Like, none of the games have aged incredibly well, but it, uh, some of it looked pretty clowny, even by RE standards. I know, they're always locked. This is worse than Silent Hill. Why do I keep going in here? I don't have space. I gotta make space. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the controls definitely were better in uh, RE4 than the others. I'll give it that. But I haven't personally replayed it recently. I just, like I said, I just watched T-Shirt play some of it, but I enjoyed it when it came out a lot. All right, we'll put this away and this away for now. So I'm gonna try to go in the bathroom and try not to get killed by bats, because that might be kind of embarrassing. But I gotta get the guns, too. Yeah, I was saying that earlier, Chulupa. My favorite is definitely, by far, the uh, remake. The RE1 remake for the GameCube. Because that's the first one I played, and I think it it um, they did an awesome job with the with the remake. The way it looks is great. It, graphically, it still holds up very well. Um, but the other ones are fun. And yeah, <laughs> Nemesis is pretty stressful, right? Stars. You just hear stars in your nightmare, in your nightmares for weeks. Oh, I didn't. I miss people's follows. Hold on. Thank you for the follow 16-bit shinobi. I missed it, and I think you also said hi, and I don't think I said hi. So if you're still out there, thank you for the follow. 
I'm trying my best to keep up with chat, but I'm feeling a little bit un under the weather. And Konanji. Koenji? Thank you for the follow, too. Welcome. I don't know if it'll sell well, uh, sell. If it's, uh, if it's for PS4, it might. If they kind of release it during a dead time for games. Turn in an early? Alright, Miki, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Have dreams of, uh, have dreams of zappies. Re Thank you. Aiming. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Tar I'm using the targeting. It's an auto lock on. No, I didn't want to open it. Oh god. There'll be Steam. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm sure it'll do fine then if it's on Steam. I think the re uh, RA1 remaster did really well. I'm pretty sure it'll do fine. But I don't know if RE3 was as popular. Okay, can I get this without upsetting the bats? There's there's also bullets in the um oh my ears so itchy. There's bullets in the in the toilet. Help me! Help me. Yeah, that's true. Remaking a game from scratch is a lot more difficult than um I'm gonna die to bats. Than just uh, doing an HD like remaster. That's what they're doing with Shadow of the Colossus as well, though. This toilet, <laughs> the toilet is made out of marble. I don't care. Caution. I think you get into danger right before you die. You can get into the red. Is it actually Capcom behind the remaster, though? I mean, uh, sorry, remake. That's it, man. It's, it's game, game over. over. Man. It's game over. It's game over. Um, is it actually Capcom behind it, or is it a different studio? Because it seems like most remakes and remasters are completely different, um, studios. Like, I think the Shadow of the Colossus is Blue Point or something like that? Alright, how do I open this thing? Is there a button? There's a button. There's a key. I could open this if I had a lockpick or Jill Valentine, but I do not. So I'm gonna go put that in, in the handy dandy storage box. Oh, it is internal, really? Well, that's exciting. Hopefully they'll do a decent job of it then. So, Bluepoint did, um, I think Bluepoint also did the remaster of Shadow of the Colossus for the PS3, but aside from that, what else did they do? Oh, the Metal Gear Solid, really? Okay. Oh, they did. You're right. Oh, that's cool. I still haven't played the remasters yet. I still haven't beat the first one. <laughs> Remember Metal Gear. All right. Um, what should I do here? All right. We'll try. We'll take this. We'll go. Oh, you know what I was doing? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna get the guns and I'll try to open it that way. There were the guns on the wall in the other room. And I'll try to open the store here. Man, I wish there was a way for me to get those other ink ribbons way back there. Because they are pretty damn sparse. And this is a rough game to stream if I want to wrap it up, which I do uh, pretty soon. Because I have to use an ink ribbon to save. So I'd like to make a little bit of progress before I do that. So we will try to open the door first. Because I don't want to waste it. That's the one uh, saving grace with the emulators is you have the save states. As far as uh, streaming a game, it can make it a little more bearable if you die and you have to backtrack a lot. Or uh, if you need to save before bed or something. They tend to have a ton of issues. I always do this. The guy leading the RE2 remake team has been working on RE since the- Wow! Since the original GameCube remake, really? Oh, that's exciting. 
Well, I hope it does turn out turn out okay. And if they have any issues with it, uh, someone else picks up the slack. I know, Age. I'm I'm trying to make a little progress. Then I'm gonna save. Oh god. Or maybe I'll just die. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. I gotta put them back. Alright, we can't do this yet. I should have seen that coming. At least it wasn't like a giant, uh... Giant whirling, like, death trap. Oh, you know what? Can I put my guns here? Would they fit here? They're not Lugers. You think those guns would fit there? Let's try that. I doubt that's the solution. I don't think they'll fit, but we'll try. They're similar looking. Let's <laughs> see, where, where were you when the acid kicked in? <laughs> in, in the death trap puzzle. Turn around. Alright. Let's try it. I doubt that's the solution. No, not equip! Use. There's no need to use it now. Okay. Well, not the solution. We tried, though. They're similar looking. Not not completely the same. Alright, so I gotta find a way to get a, a replica of those. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go save then, I guess. I hate to use the ink ribbon, though. It sucks. What did I even do? Did I even do anything that's worth saving? Like, I guess so. There might be something else in that room too. But I do have to wrap it up because I work uh, pretty early tomorrow. And my throat is, is a mess. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm sick. I don't know if it's allergies. Got a 3D replicate? Yeah, but I can't take them out of the, the room. What do I 3D replicate? My guns? I don't have any more alloy either. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, I died one time. But we haven't died since then, so we're doing great. I need a lockpick. There's probably more alloy in that other uh, briefcase. Maybe. It would work if there was more alloy on the other briefcase, but what would I, like, what would I take to replicate? You think Star would have developed the technology to at least save on a floppy? I know, right? They're still using ink ribbons. <laughs> it's dated technology. Alright, let me take this. Not that. This. Thank you for the follow, Antonio. Welcome. I did die at the first zombie. Yep, it was not good. But we've done well since then. <laughs> Let's use our last ink ribbon. Because we need to save. Right, I'll do a new save file. Because I saved fairly recently. So if it turns out this sucks, then I can just go back. Not too bad. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Code Veronica. And, and Alien, that was fun. That was a fun game. Um, even if the ending was a little underwhelming. But I really enjoyed that. And I'm enjoying this a lot so far, so I'll be back. If I can talk tomorrow with the way my throat is going, I'll be back with this uh, tomorrow night. Around 7 o'clock Eastern. Um, and I might mix it up with another game. I think this game is a little bit longer. I think this might be like a 12 hour playthrough, so I might, might play something else, but I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, thanks, thanks so much for watching guys and for, uh, for hanging out for Code Veronica. I'm gonna see if there's someone I can, f can host right now, because I'm ending it at a good time for once. Let's see. Let me reload. Let's host. Alright, I'm kind of curious. Because people are talking about that new South Park game. I'm going to host Wayward. She's playing the new South Park game. And I'm going to hang out there a little bit before our bed. She's a real chill lady. I think you guys would enjoy her. And I will catch you guys tomorrow night. Have a good night. <laughs>